Okay, so I'm building this uh, Euro Dollar trading platform, trading system. Well, it's not really a system uh, so much as it is a. Uh, um, well, it's it's multiple systems in one. It's just one instrument, the Euro Dollar, and the spread here is fairly tight. Um, it's one and a half pips. There's no commission on this broker, so. In essence, it's with a commission broker. It's probably tighter. So this is a hot forex. Uh, it's a hot forex demo account, and um, if anybody's overseas, they can trade on this broker. I can't do it. Um, they won't let me trade on this platform, but. Uh, that lets you hedge over overseas. So it's kind of funny how the Americans just turn this place into a, a fucking nanny state so quickly that, uh, you know, the little guy, they raise the minimum wage so you can't get a job. They uh, get rid of hedging and leverage so uh, if you want to make your own uh, lemonade stand, that's really a, 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 a bank. A uh, inventory of currency. I'm gonna open your own currency uh, parking lot and park a bunch of currency symbols. You can't do that so easy no more. But there's people that let you do it overseas, but not hor not hot forex, unfortunately. I used to trade with them. Here is uh, this is how fast their servers are. I'm gonna drop three orders here with one button. That's pretty fast. Now, if you stretch this out, these are uh, buy limits. Stacked up, spaced away from each other here. Stretch this out. And all I'm trading here is the uh, tops become bottoms and bottoms become tops on a 15 minute chart. So earlier tonight, I bought I started this account with 10 grand and I'm trying to uh, get this thing tuned up. This is the 30 minute deep orders here. And this thing made money today on a uh, buy limit strategy. Because earlier today when I wasn't here, I dropped orders that lasted about um, anywhere from two to four hours. And the market came down, filled the whole bank to here randomly. I got stopped out of some of this stuff. Look in the history. And you can see which time frames, if you have your comments turned on here, and you can keep track and do a little uh, forensics or journaling to see what works and what doesn't. You can still look back on the chart, just good old, uh, you know, look back. So see this top here? If you hit a buy limit here, and you don't have to, if you want to be a high-frequency trader, uh, it doesn't take too much. Uh, and this whole thing about all oh, those, I just watched the whole thing by this guy, and uh, holy crap. High frequency traders are the biggest traders in all this fancy. What? So cares? Bring them in. We need a couple good looking guys at this party, right? We need some wingmen for all the nerds. Um, who cares if they're queer? Okay, look at this. The chicks love them. The chicks love them, and we love chicks. So they're like mitochondrial DNA, right? We need them to build stuff. Look at this top become... Your pennings are here, right? Constantly tagging this price. I wonder why. And that's the doji. There's the top become a bottom for this burst. Is that a trend? Momentarily, it sure as hell is. Now, this is the kind of stuff that happened in the British pound. I'm slamming back, slamming up, slamming back. Now, you could have sold it too. Everybody made money on that. Now, I did not reload the second of these. Um, there was also the big uh, stop hunt. I just watched this guy. I can't remember his name, but he's, he finally tells people, listen, where'd you put your stop? Right here. Okay. Can I please have your stop to make a bunch of money? Thank you. I just bought your stop. All right. 
Look where people's stops are. Right here. Why is there a stop there? Because for them, this is the bottom. This is a higher low than this. They see this as a bottom. Oh, I'll put it here. See, they, they're they looking at it like this. Oh, my God. They stopped me up. I, want, I put it right there. Look at this window. Are you kidding me? So, just because you didn't ride this train doesn't mean you can't get back at the station twice in a row today on the 15. Come on. Easy money. But not if you're watching Moving Averages. Not if you're watching Gartley's. Not if you're trying to paint a Gartley. Not if you got a fib tool out. Don't do that to yourself. Stop with the fibs. Stop with the level two. Stop with like, well, I can see. Market profile says the balance of traders are right here. Therefore, I, I can show you. Uh, anybody wants to know, I just, I've been trying to record this one video and I'm having issues trying to uh, record uh, me recording somebody else's video right now. But trust and believe, you know it's out there, right? This top became a double bottom here. We're not retarded, are we? Do you have to tell me that this is... Well... His Stapleton's... I mean, his Stapleton's audience... Isn't he letting them ride along with him? If you're so stupid, just go to the next... Go to, like, Trading for Dummies. Go to my video. How to make money. How to make money trading. Just place the fucking orders. Look at this stop hunt. You think the guy that bought here wasn't thinking it's just going to keep going up? He put a stop in here. Let me go get your stop, buddy. Thank you very much. See you a while. You put sellaments here because you're like, you know what? If it comes up here, I want to sell. Yeah, you're wrong. Because the trend's up. But it doesn't matter if you're wrong. You made so much money down here twice. So they stop you out. Whatever. But you are standing in front of... This is obviously going up. You have to go to one more time frame up to see that. Yeah. So there's this guy I was trying to show him how to trade and so he asked me should I sell the euro? He's going to sell the euro. After it's gone down now mind you um, this is about not seeing the big picture. And the big picture is always changing. So where are you in the big picture? Now, if you're going to sell down here, you better be scalping. Do you really think the euro, after dropping this far, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm going to get a new demo here. <laughs> I didn't change these colors to what I like yet. Okay, really? You think we're not going to break that? We just broke it. But who wasn't in before that break? you got to see this thing coming, man. Draw your trend lines and close. Print them out if you have to. That trend line, was that going to break and find support? Just over and over again with this stuff. Forget Gartley's. It's garbage. Trust and believe. What looks more easier for you to do? Draw a trend line on a triple top, breaks out, finds support, shabango wango. Even the people that are trading volatility breakout are killing it. Because guess what? What does this look like? A baby candle. Could it be a hammer? I think so. Inverted hammer. I always wondered what an inverted hammer was. I thought, is that like a guy hanging by his feet off a building? Don't drop me, man. Um. Bottom becomes the top at the round. Are we going to pop, pop through the round? Hell yeah. Are we going to start cleaning house on Wix? Uh, duh. These are temp pip handles, by the way, because I'm scalping on this. I, I'm, I'm trying to get this guy hooked up to be a scalper. He thinks that the uh, FX market's rigged, so he trades the uh, stock market. Okay, I'm going to buy a signal here on the euro. So Buy at the market right now. And I gotta turn off the graphics here. So I'm gonna buy at the market. I hate to do it, but if you go to the five minute chart right now, 
So it's just a demo. I would never trade like that. I would go like this. I've got an order here that'll buy. It buys uh, three minis below. But I'm just saying that I also and didn't get in big enough to make it matter. I hope. Now, actually, I should buy right now. So see how this one's less of a loss. Now, uh, depending if your tickets, if your hotkey's not set big enough, you are going to come up and go boom, boom, boom. Now, I don't know if you've seen the E-Trade Baby, but it's so funny because there is actually a way to trade that in the opposite direction. But, uh, so, and if you're just watching your losses, uh, um, your average down into this pullback, but do you think so we could go up here? Now, earlier, just a minute, just a little while ago, what I traded was this breakout. This is the five minute now. And this is just plain old how to make money with a bar chart and a one period moving average. And this is more money than you'll ever make trading the Gartley in your whole life. And I know it's going to be a heartbreaker for all the uh, intellectuals. But you don't understand, man. We built a scanner bot. Yeah, but you keep moving the D. Okay, I'm about to get stopped out of those market orders. See how, if you just wait, now watch me buy another one. Watch me pull a rabbit out of a hat. Buy another one, and now wait for the limit. Now I put another limit bank in, and another limit bank, and I just buy a low sell high. So you know you're gonna be wrong, but you do wanna put something in there. You wanna get in on something, but you, you don't wanna trade to 1%, 2% of your account now. You want to trade 0.001% of your account right now. The fear of missing out is for baby market orders only. Do never put, never place buy stops above the market. If you think it's going up, just buy at the market. Never place buy stops above the market. Are you kidding me? Um, buy now. Buy every five minutes, but do not buy on a stop, right? Um, if you're bullish, you're going to overpay for that stop. Maybe one stop. One stop, right? Like one shot, like Deer Hunter. Um, but don't, uh, don't just, ugh. And watch these, watch your losses here. Watch how this works. This demo. But it wouldn't make a difference if it was real money. You're down 17 bucks now. So I'm up 380. Now I'm down 17. And I could close all open and pennings. I have a button here to just get out of everything and bail on the whole thing and start over again. Now you can do that automatically. You cannot do that. manually. If you called your broker in the old days, said close everything, get me out, place pendings five ticks deep, let's start over, he'd be like. Dude, why don't you just stay in? I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna go run into the trading floor and yell out numbers. And all these spoiled people that want to trade online and, like, they don't even want to trade another ticket. MT4 is letting you do that. I'm a ninja trader. Why? Well, it's got prettier colors. Oh, yeah. I just watched a bunch of videos. This chick was trying to buy... This, this dude was trying to rationally convince her to buy a beater car. But she wanted to buy the car because it had lit cup holders. And the other girl said, yeah, and they changed color. And I thought, oh, my God, we have to be the most spoiled people on the planet. It's not enough to have a cup holder in your car but it and, and have it lit. But it changes colors. I want to have a light organ so when the base notes comes on, it turns blue, personally. But... But see how stupid this trade is right here? Can you see how dumb this trade is to trade at the market? 2% of your account? Now I'm getting filled on my limits. See? Now put more limits in. Now I put them in deeper. The faster it goes, the deeper you put in the limits. See, watch how this works. Okay, coming down. I'm in. I'm already in. I'm going to get in this whole top. I can't run my stops in this broker because they're not letting me trade inside this product. But see how wrong you are? You're $42 wrong right now. I thought it was going up. 
Never trade 1% of your account. That's too much. You suck. Let's face it, all the money's made on the on the stop hunts. Here, they're coming in my orders now. Look at that. Now I'm down 53 bucks. My biggest losing trade now is seven dollars. That was the market order. I don't know where my I think I got a a wide but this is because you didn't want to miss out, right? We know what's going up. We know they're going to pop this puppy through, right? Got to come back. You didn't miss it. The fear is what makes you buy at the market. Impulsive. It's okay to do a little bit of that. Okay, so far they haven't stopped me out. I haven't lost any of my balance, but my equity's down. I'm down 36 bucks now. So, five-minute chart, though, right? Look at the five-minute chart of what happened here. You realize that was... You made, like, 20 pips in 10 minutes. You made 30 pips in 10 minutes there on that five-minute chart. That's all you need to know. How do you make money on that shit? This, uh, if you go to the 15, this is it. This was that trade. The 30. Look at this stuff. Are you kidding me? See all that black? All oh, market. Oh, oh, that's volume. When people say, oh, look at the volume. Yeah, that's volume. What do you think creates all that Wix? Volume. Come on, man. We're not that stupid. So the nice thing about the one period moving average is that it's, it's time frame synced. It doesn't get any better than this. Forget all that crap. The Wix. Stop it with the candles, people. I'd say there should be an anti-candle movement. We need this. We need to get this going. We need to. We need somebody to crowdfund. A... It's enough already. Look at this. Look at these beautiful channels on the clothes. Can't get any prettier than that. Top just became a bottom off of this inflection point. If you really are into that geometry, this is it. Copy this over. Make copies of this. This transverse index. Look at this. Perfect top become a bottom become a top. Right there. Bottom becomes a double top becomes a bottom. These are pivots. These are real pivots. Hand drawn. No ninja trader can do this. And the guy that I did the video about, and it crashed it twice already. Ninja trader's got its head up its ass. You cannot have a computer. It has to be hand drawn. You cannot have a computer do this for you. Here's the down, here's the bearish view. You have to see what the bears are thinking. And this may be completely at a 90 degree angle if I scrunched it up. But see the top become a bottom here and close? Now you drag this like a miter box. This should be support. You should come back to that. What if you don't? Well, you're along from here. And then there's the horizontal story. Of the, ver the horizontal support and resistance. This bottom becomes this top. Is this doji? It's all related in here. You're building a wigwam. This double bottom, there's a doji double bottom, top, inflection, comes back. Here it crushes through. But it's ricocheting off this. What's, what's more important than this guy threading out into the past is the fact that the last known top is this top. This is all that matters now. This is all that matters now, and this is all that matters now. So, I don't know if I'm up on any of these trades, so I might have to get out of something. So let me get out of something and lighten up. Now I'm gonna, now I did cash out of some of my stuff because I realized that we could still retest, and 
I fucked up with these uh, uh, buy at the markets. So let me. I still think it's going up. Let me come in again. And if you just trade one instrument, you see my buy limits are about to get filled here. Let me put some more in. So I, I, you, it's how you want to keep your sizing. Like, you want to be able to scalp out of po portions of your trade and then come back in. So you want to dance with the market, right? And you have to let the market lead sometimes. You can't just be the guy all the time. And the market's a girl, right? And you got to let her breathe. You can't just maul her just because she's hot. They don't like that. Like, they don't, like, their breasts, apparently, they don't want you to just grab them and manhandle them. Because I guess it's like somebody just grabbed your, any soft part of your body and started to molest it. So, you can, it's the flexibility to dance with these markets. Now, um, they're not going to let me put a buy stop in here, but I'm already in. Okay, I'm in these market orders, and it doesn't matter how big you're in. Typically, it doesn't matter because you're in bigger. You're always in bigger uh, than you want to be when you're wrong, and you're not big enough when you're right. But the right—that's why right and wrong is critical to the whole thing. Because what if you're kind of right, not absolutely right, but you're kind of right, and you're making money, but you're like, yeah, you know, see how it's pulling back here. So to admit. Uh, it's like a partial admitment of a mistake to get out of something. And now that I'm sitting here babysitting it, I have that ability. Now, if I had a pre-described, predefined trade plan and I just launched it and went to sleep, that'd be a completely different world. Uh, because I wouldn't have control over that. And those would be a little bit different than if you're a high-frequency trader like this and you just scalp and you're just like right on top of it. You're like, damn, I'm buying this, buying this, selling this, buying this. So here we come back for another possible, and we could just crush down now. So let me let me delete everything and just go to back. What's going on right now is maybe there's stops here they want to grab. So my order should be down here, right below that line. All my buy limits. These last for half an hour. It's very conservative because I don't think we're going to make it there in a half an hour. I'm just saying. I think the entry here was to buy right uh, at this top. And if you don't get there in a certain amount of time, then you might want to buy a little bit more at the market or you just bought at the market right now. So I have to buy at the market now because I can't buy on a stop. If I put a stop in now, I'm chasing it. Don't ever trade with stops. Um, just get in. You see that, you know what, this is the pullback. And if it isn't, you haven't gotten in too big to really do too much damage on and on, right? Um, and maybe this pulls back one more time. You make a lot of money babysit in these markets if you've got like uh, three hours to spend and you get one of these pullbacks like this in the 15 and you know you're going up you're in an uptrend uh, they've trapped the bulls by like the breakout traders that trade the breakout of the day they're like woohoo I got a signal to go along and uh, they're already made their money off of them so the scalpers have pulled it back and uh, the uh, people that sold this top now have to buy back and admit they're wrong and the people that sold this top because they thought they were in this channel so you have to think what other people are thinking they're thinking oh we're, we're about to go here here's the shoulder here's the neckline we're just going to plunge to hell and uh, so there was a pullback there I could have bought the market and I could chase it now, I call this chasing because I guess um, I used to chase it up here and now I've redefined chasing. I'm hypersensitive to getting caught, to getting trapped. And if I'm, if I'm only in the smallest amount, of, really small position right now, that's fine. Because there's going to be another trade to sell later, higher. So I have a sell script here, which i got to fine tune. It needs to be close to the market based on the euro dollar. And this is going to throw 15 minute sales up in front, up top. And the thing is, is that uh, some of these are ridiculous. If the news came out, I could see us smacking up there, but I don't think so. So here's the half hour version, which is way too high. It's just too unrealistic for the market. 
for it to get up there in half an hour right now would be just some crazy news event. And for it to slam back, it's the only way that script would make money. So I, I kind of tightened up the buys, but the sells I haven't adjusted yet. But it's literally a bottomless pit of possibilities once you start to look at all the ways you can arrange these tickets and assign them to a hotkey and then just... Uh, but yeah, today, if I could have reloaded this strategy here where you just buy limits and just trade this range, oh my god. And yeah, the whole, tr the whole day was up. And uh, here's the one hour view. So if you go to the one hour view, it's just a completely different world. So here I got the one hour 10 pips deep. This is what I was running today when this happened. And here's two hours at 20 pips. Three hours at 30 pips. So I could go to sleep now. And three hours that they rape this thing down to here and it goes back up. It's going to make money just like this made money. It has nothing to do with anything other than the market going up and down. Same thing here. When this came flying up above this. If you had sold this whole thing on sell limits. Set it and forget it. By here, it's already got out of something. By here, maybe it's out of everything. Or maybe by here. Or maybe you came back, and I've, I've woken up in the middle of the night in money and thought, I'm just getting out, go back to sleep. I don't want to have to worry about this slow creeper. I just made some... I'm just getting out. Because I'm in a place in buy limits now. Like, if I sold up here, I'm putting buy limits below. You're constantly trading possibility and probability. And, oh yeah, look at, pull it back now. Look at this. So if it comes back into these balls, I don't care if they stop me out of everything and I'm down like, you know, whatever percent, because the probability of making money on this plunge, now I'm just aggressive. I'm, a, I'm just going to sit there. Now I would actually hit that same button twice in a row. But every time I wait, I'm getting a different loss and win ratio here. I'm spreading out. I'm cushioning every move I make. I'm compromising. There is no hard. There is no one ticket. It is not like that. It cannot be like that. Your life is not like that. You don't have good days and bad days. You have so-so days, and, and it, it's, it's a graduation. It's incremental. It's, it's incremental. So, yeah, this thing could totally crush right now. I hope it does, because I want to make money quickly. Another thing this guy says, people think they're going to make a bunch of money fast. You are if you plan to. If you have a trade plan for that, yeah. Because look how quick this money was. Are you kidding me? Um, this here, not so much. This here, but look at this activity. I wonder why it's down here like this. Could it be this? This is a dollar, eleven. And when you go to the bank, you know they typically don't give you half a penny. Half a penny's here. This is a ten pip grid. That's the hundred. This is twenty pips. Above the 100. That's how I'm thinking about it. You got a trend line here itching to be broken. You've got um, four hours of accumulation. Anytime you see wicks like this, this is accumulation for an up move or accumulation for a down move. I mean, distribution is wicks. Distribution wicks, bam. You want to sell at distribution centers, you want to buy at accumulation points, you want to ride from the accumulation through the markup. This is Wyckoff theory. This is the composite operator in Wyckoff. Everybody's trading. Uh, high frequency traders are trading. Hedge funds are loading. Every It's composite operator because there's a, a bunch of different operators all uh, participating in that mess. Where the markdown is literally... Um, it's like a, um, in other words, they load the train up and then the, the, and then we have to go somewhere. There's no sense in boarding a train that doesn't go anywhere. So we go somewhere, we mark it up, and then we come back to the distribution center, which is the last known doji, which is last known 
and one man supplies another man's demand, so I wouldn't want to say this is supply or demand, it's just the distribution center. And when they spend time below uh, this in, like, say, no man's land, people say, this is where they auctioned it down. So I saw this happening last night, and I'm like, wow. So I went to sleep, and I wish I would have had higher take profits on that because when they trapped it down here and hung out there, I go, uh-oh. Okay, now we're going up. So let me go back into real-time trading here and buy some at the market. So it's still below the, uh, we're still in the pullback mode of the 15 has just turned up. So right there, see top, bottom, now buy at the market on the clock. Now, if I wasn't uh, babbling away, I would have just pulled the trigger without a second thought at, on the clock. So it's clock entry trading, and that's market, right? So right at the 15, boom, just hit it because it's quarter after. Now, you could have a time bot, I suppose, trade this crap. Look for a the last known top, bottom. Yeah, this is pretty complex instruction stuff for a robot. But here it would have made sense. Tell the robot when the market pulls back in 15 minutes, or you can do this yourself, come up to the platform every 15 minutes. You know how much money you'd make? When this top became a bottom on the clock and you pulled the trigger, or you just had a pending order there, the reason why you don't have to be there for that trade, even though there's a guy that was there for the trade that made money just like you, but you had a buy limit there. Um, you also had a buy limit here. You also had a buy limit here. Now, you maybe got crushed on this one, but if you, you're in three tickets here, if you bought that based on these three tops, if you bought this based on that, and you're buying it because it goes back to this was the original inflection point. So I bought here earlier tonight on this breakout. It went up here. I dumped and unfortunately you don't have the uh, uh, the guy that accused me as Mr. Hindsight since my tape machine was I don't know I, I, sometimes you can't have too many apps open I don't care how much memory you got um, so and I dumped because I, I wasn't going to sell there although I could have I, I, I believe that I just want to trade it from the long side it's just easier for me to think about especially um I'd only sell it if it was really roaring up. I'd be like, yeah, let's sell that. But I think it's going up. Um, yeah, I really do think it's going up. Um, but it's really about this... Um, trying to make money sitting in front of your monitor. And making money when you're sleeping. There's two different trade plans for that. So here, um, I do think they're going to hit that round handle eventually. But we may, we may tumble. That could be completely wrong. Now, these guys are going to disappear in a half hour, uh, one hour, some of the deeper ones. And I, the reason I put those balls in there is because I want to keep track of are they loading in or not. So I have a delete all objects. But now when I come back and load this 10 pips deep, and when I say 10 pips deep, it's going to buy around 10 pips deep and a range of four tickets. So it's going to cover a range of 10 pips, and then the 20 pip order comes underneath and canvases that zone, but it, those last longer. But it's based on this 10 pip per rate rate of change. Now, it may be a little bit outlandish. It wasn't here today. This was dropping at a rate of 10 pips per hour. And it was a perfect fit. A perfect fit for the rate of smash. The rate of crush. And the rate of this, if I was here today, I could have pressed the sell button here, captured this swing, and but I wasn't, but I did make money when I came back, because we were here when I left. And I placed the plunge protection team in, and they made money on that burst, but they did not reload the way they did not reload the same strategy. So maybe we get a little pop here tonight. I get to the round handle. We dump. We literally get the fuck out. Now I know that a lot of these people are like, you should have helped. Yeah, you know what? You could say the same thing about this move. But if you come back to the point where your equity is the same, you just have to say to yourself, I'm lazy. Thank you very much. Or it doesn't matter to you. You don't want to make money. You don't want to make that much money. You're making plenty. You want to really kill. You want to really kill these fucking markets. Get a gun. 
that shoots a lot of rounds. Small bullets. You're going to kill more people. You're going to scare the hell out of people. You're gonna, and if you don't kill them, you're going to irritate them. And maybe you don't want to kill them because they're going to charge you with murder. Think about that. Think about a gun with riot pellet, right? Just BB gun. Instead of a BB gun, it's got a riot pellet in there. Maybe that's the answer. So, I really do like uh, the smaller time frames. You've been told to stay away from it. Bullshit. Just don't set your targets for 500 pips on a five minute chart, that's all. The five minute creates the, it's the baby waves that keep create the tidal wave. All this little congestions, all that noise stacks up and then kaboom. That's what makes the money. That's what makes the giant moves. And then I'm dumping. When I see these, when I see the crowd jump in there, I'm like, oh my God, really? Oh, I, I want to be out of half of it even before we get to the breakout. I just saw a guy today I made a comment in his video. I said, fucking idiot. Because you know what? This guy's like, well, what we do here is we... I swear to God, this is his trade plan. Putting a Bosch stop here. And, uh... I'm like, okay, yeah, well, you're filled. And then he's like, why? I'm like, why don't you buy down here? Well, first, I need confirmation that the bulls were able to clear the trees there. And, uh, now, maybe he is buying here. The retest the apex of that triangle. He could have done both. I want to do both. I want to buy that. I want to realize that the sellers are coming, and I want to buy again. Sure, I want to get the fuck out here. When they trap these guys, yes, dump. They're gonna come back. You gotta wait 15 minutes. Ouch. The 15 minute chart is a gold mine. And you can't overtrade it too bad if you stick to the if you trade on the clock here. Even here. You're waiting for all these guys to come resting back into here. And if you pull the thing every 15 minutes. Think of how many trades you would have stacked up in there. You got a buy limit here, you got filled, and you just keep buy, 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 your stops tight, boom. You're out of half of your position by the time you retest this. Then you're out of 75% here, and then you're totally flat. You reload. That's the most money you're ever going to make. It's to trade every wave you can possibly trade. And you are a seller up here because you don't. You didn't have to sell it for the ride back. But in this in this kind of style of trading, you only got to wait a half an hour or an hour for an entry. Even the counter trend traders don't have to wait that long. If you sold every 15 minutes that this thing went up, so you sold, you sold, you sold, you sold, you sold, 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 sold. If you had the right stop on that, just wait, because you're going to make it all back. Then you got buy limits sitting here. People won't do it. What are you, bipolar? Look at this beautiful top become a bottom. Right there. Nice. Easy. Get out. Take the money and run. I'm ready to get out right now on these things. See, look at that. They're going to pull it back. We've all been trapped in some, well, you know, you got to stick to your trade plan. If you've got the time to look at a 5-minute and a 15-minute chart, you're going to realize real quick, you fucked up. The scalpers have already dumped to here. You see where they're getting out. Why is it pulling back right now? Because sellers came in at this. Fucking duh. Just don't... Don't not look at the five minute chart. That's how you learn a trade. That's how you learn what's going on. Does a triple bottom become a double top? Yes. Is this where we want to get in? Yes. This is not noise. This, the noise is what makes the music. If you solo a track on the playback of a hundred and 
whatever 120 input console you're gonna hear like there's noise on here yeah there's some of the best uh, you know productions in the world if you sold a track you'd be like well, that's in the mix yes that's the texture that's creating everything that goes on it's it's a composite this is the composite operator the noise the texture this is he lives in the noise the composite operator people are getting in people are getting out this is the background noise this is the foreground this is the drama queen we well, see we're pulling back more so let him take it back let him stop me out let him crush it I don't care now I'm gonna put more by limits in 15 minutes half hour 15 minutes half hour so I'm trading real money here I'm trading this demo now I'm down 87 should have got out here on something see but you're looking at the five minute traders are thinking now so you can tr you can make a lot of money with very tight if your broker has a tight spread you can make uh, good money in Asia so they just stopped that guy out is this a chance to get back in and buy more or is it time to get scared and think wow but if you, you stick your to your guns now if you put a buy stop on top of this fractal which I wouldn't because I'm already in that would be this way of saying okay well you know what I want to add but you don't want to do that you want to buy on limits because that is it's been proven that it's a buy low sell high game that's there's no way around that math it's how fast can they come down there so I'm giving this market um, 15 minutes to a half hour to plunge and about one hour to drop 10 pips so if we don't make it down there see how they just <clears throat> they just stopped that guy out <clears throat> so it was a good place to get in right <clears throat> but you, you you wouldn't sell here just because the top became a bottom became a top because you realize that yeah that's people's targets but that's not like the big picture is that we're going up and now nine o'clock nine thirty is just come and gone so now look to the half hour traders are thinking we've got a pullback half hour now if you're a clock entry trader in the half hour you're buying pullbacks on the half hour every half hour pulls back if you're bullish because here's your entry here your your only half hour pullback all day long here here was one here was one so you'd be long three contracts here if you did or tickets if you did not have a tight stop you're still in just on that alone just buy pullbacks when they say buy pullbacks yeah just buy them fuck anything else here you would have bought here it's not that good of a pullback but here's the half hour top bottom now this sinks with the hat with the 50 minute top bottom beautifully there is no problem with this these wicks these are accumulation wicks you want to be buying those wicks you want to be buying as they come into these wicks of this of this pivot so load the fucking wagon here Jesus I mean it, you don't need a garley to make money now this puppy's gonna go for the round now I think but this might take an hour which is forever if you're in big and you're like oh come on just so we might actually eclipse that round now I'm gonna put the sell limits in these are 15 minutes sell limits I'm gonna trade this from both directions now this better work out because I'm trying to show this uh, this guy that this works this is the proving ground you know here we have a, a GM proving ground and it's so funny because on the way to the there's a little side road so one day I'm in this car and we're gonna go it was just some psycho babe and she had to go visit her kids so we go down this road with potholes the size of small craters on the moon and she says you know we're just a few miles from the GM proving ground I thought I think we're on the proving ground I mean I think this is this is I mean the, 
the GM proving ground is like a flat road when they they wet it down and you hydroplane and I'm like no I think they should rent this out as the proving ground okay so here we are we pulled back this is typically the launching pad for a price pulse up the 15 looks good the 5 they've rejected this bottom the scalpers got out here the sellers came and now they've trapped the <clears throat> the sellers that use that as their reason and the question is can we blow out this top well we do not want to buy a stop here because we want to aggressively trade we're real men people or hey guys we're real men let the girls trade the pen, the, the pending orders but we can trade like them too we can have the buy limit here now notice the buy limit here if you didn't fill here they came back within a, like a half a pip to fill you here this is a highly liquid pair all these structures make sense here there's not a lot of spread the spread on the British pound is what creates more market makers because there's more people handling it that's why the spreads why there's there's a, or there's a bigger bridge to gap so let's take profits hopefully some of this is going to cash out if not I will have to take profits as you come up into this next target which if uh, we he didn't get up to this bottom we could so we hold through the breakout here and this when this holds filled we should get out of something here we can expect some type of rejection off of that comes back to here and and maybe it's gonna take forever to break out who hasn't seen that right um, who hasn't just been pissed off about that not happening but this is for this guy uh, this is for people that want to trade the five-minute chart and um, I won't go to the one-minute chart because this spread it's it's there's no top bottom the spreads in the way if you did have the one-minute chart the market had to be open and really screaming it, it, well, you could do it if the market was open because you have momentary uh, chances to get in and out uh, we can still plunge now so now this is either accumulating right now for a burst up or it's distributing for a plunge down and maybe it is going to tank down but we don't know we don't care we've got the plunge protection team down here that lasts for another half hour so we could go to sleep come back see what's going on um, so that's that's how that is um, also you could have that buy stop on top of that top and that is a confirmation but I'm already in because I kind of like I said earlier I bought this pullback to here thinking we're gonna pop through but you know when you trade at the market you're wrong and if you're not wrong you're slightly wrong you could get a better price if you just waited a little bit um, doesn't that doesn't that occur to anybody when they when they see oh you know if I just would have waited I could have got that uh, oof. so when you go to the bar you want to wait till the end of the night and look for the drunkest girl and take her home because you know that's typically in no no it's not uh, easy to do because you want to pounce the first uh, girl in the bar but a lot of times it's just go for the low hanging fruit right just go for the go for the easy stuff and just the and you can see what everybody at the bar has done here but the scene of the crime was the apex of the triangle so we're always gonna typically the best entry is the revisiting of this in this kind of situation but it doesn't mean you can't buy this breakout and even sell this trap and be the trap trader be the guy that traps people those evil high frequency traders come back buy again dump buy dump buy um, but then they'd call you um, well you're just a slut yes 
but I'm a money-making slot. Um, come on, let's go up, people. Take out this tap. Now, we're going to hold through the break out of that. And if this goes zooming up in the next 10 minutes, that's only one, two more bars. If it goes up in the next five minutes, if it goes up 10 pips, uh, I'll probably stay for five, three more minutes and just dump or something. Or just get to my target. But I can't lose money in this account because it'd be very embarrassing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, this is my trading contest and I can't seem to get this to publish inside of uh, um, the stupid FX book. It's garbage. So I can't get that EA to run. And everything I see that says, oh, I'm here to help you, did you install? Yeah, I did all that. And then I see it come up in there, but I don't see the, oh my God. Does anybody have an easier publishing? Uh, how, to, how to prove your, how to dump your account history on the internet and go, look, see. Um, I had it running once too. God, it was synced, it was running beautifully. I can't believe it's Windows 8 that's... I was... I thought I was running it out here. Okay, so look at how close you are to that breakout. Look at that thing. Are you kidding me? Sellers are coming in there. Again. They're not going to win, though. The trend... The larger trend's too up. I'm sure the 50-period EMA on this 5-minute chart is up. We don't have to put one on there. Every moving average is up on the on the, but maybe not on the daily. Maybe the uh, 50 period moving average is down on the daily. Is that going to make you not go long here? On this structure issue of this re re return to see the crime theory? Fuck no. It doesn't matter. Not to a scalper. This top matters that that pending buy limit there now that could you could be out of that trade right now you just made a pile of money and forget order flow forget market profile forget Gartley's all that garbage god man stop it I get upset about that I don't know man everywhere you turn we used to go to the store and buy books on trading. You'd never see. I don't know. I, I some of the some of these some of these people go back five years. The stuff people publish. We another five minutes. Here comes the fifteen minute traders. What are they thinking? Holy shit! They're geniuses. They bought that a fifteen minute plunge. Fifteen minutes up, they're out. If you were in big enough on that trade right now, you are so loving it. If I got out now, I'd be break even. I'd be break even for my first mistake. Father, I have sinned. So I could bail right now. Now, this is supposed to be my first target exit. So let me dump here and be a money management person. Now I'm in super light, but lighter than before. Now I'm going to get back in. See the flexibility of not being in one hard position? I can always go back to being a. I can. I can. I can get a sex change every 20 minutes here. I'm long, I'm short. I'm a boy, I'm a girl. I'm a bull, I'm a bear. Blah, 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 blah. Doesn't matter. I don't have to be in very big. We get to the round here, I'm still up. Look, my balance went up. I feel better. I'm still down uh, $3. I'm still down $8 from when I started that. that. See how buying at the market's garbage? And, oh, well, I had a good... Even the scalp, so this is when a scalp turns into a uh, a position trade is that if you bought this pullback, I think I got in here, and I even overpaid because uh, I think I bought this pullback here. At least I didn't put a buy stop here. At least I didn't put a buy stop here. I'm looking at the bright side. At least I didn't put a buy stop here. And that's why buy stops suck. I could add a buy stop here and I'd be up, but it's really, yeah, buy stops down in, in the valley? Yeah, okay, I got it. But buy stop here? 
Well, I want to make sure it's going up. And then you're going to say, look, I put a buy stop here and look, I made money. But if you moved your stop to break even, they came back and trounced you. You're a fool. You know? You're a fool for the city. Fog hat. You're a fool for the... For the wick. You're a fool for the breakout. Okay, see, it just auto-deleted the 15 minutes. Now I'm going to come back with more 15s. And more 30s. And I don't care if they dilly-dally, but see? I was right. Sellers are going to come in there. You can get out. You can... When you... you somebody gave me a... Uh, a bar today and they said it was really good He's, the guy says it was called Very Cranberry Bar and it was made by Mars and I thought I'd just rather eat M&M's thank you but and I looked at the sugar level I thought yeah I know I know it's cranberry and I know it's good for your but come on now I'm I just I dumped out of stuff here because we're in the middle of fair value now. We're trapped. We can still pull back. And if it does come back, I will buy more at the market if I do not get filled on these limits. If these limits don't fill in the next 15 minutes, I go out. I get drunk. I come back. I'm like, you know what? We haven't filled. I'm going to crack another beer. I'm going to buy again on this pullback at the market and be like, or I, these pendings could last longer, too. Now, here's where people have a problem. They say, well, I should have stayed in. See, I just didn't wait long enough. But you don't know what's going to happen. I do think it's going to pop up here. But you don't know that. And I'm still in. Now, if I get to 420 I'm still up $30 in an hour. $30 in an hour. And I didn't pick nothing up. I didn't drag nothing around the room. Pop to that round. Now I'm going to put the cells in. Again. Up in front. Cells. I'm ready. I'm going to sell if it goes up. I'm about to get filled on a cell here, actually. Okay. 15-minute traders. 10 seconds. Look at that. 15 minutes down, 15 minutes up. What I tell you. Okay, there you go, Mr. Um, Mr. Hindsight. It's a rare look into the live trading of Psycho Simpleton. I wonder, and there's people with buy stops there. I, like I said, I want to be in. Before the break out of this, I want to buy low, I want to sell high, I want to get down here where they're trapping people. Want half a pip trap. Now I'm going to dump everything. Fuck them. Now I put buy limits in. So, look where I'm at. I'm up. I paid for my mistake. I'm barely in now. I'm in three minis. I'm in my original mistake, and my cell limit just got filled. Now I'm putting in more cell limits. I'm still long the markets. I'm up 13 bucks. Now, here's the thing. How much do I sell into that? They're trapping the bulls right about now. I'm ready to pull the trigger and dump everything at the round. I'm getting out right now. Got out on my lungs. I'm slightly short. Now it's all about selling into the strength. I'll buy into the limits deeper. Now I come in with super deep limits and walk away. Now I'm done. I made $411 today. Thank you. Now, when this pulls back, I'll probably get out of this one. Because I don't think it's pulling back, so I'm trapped on this one. I fucked up that. That was a 30-minute sell, and that got in a little too high for my liking. But they see how they trap these people up here? I'm ready to, I'm ready to just get out of it right here. I don't want to ruin my, my sterling record. I'm counting on this being the trap, but I think they're going to bust this thing right through straight up. So let them stop me out of that one. Um, I have a one-hour ticket button here. Uh, one-hour cells are way up in the nosebleeds, and this is probably needs to be rewritten. If you look at the larger time frame, the four-hour here, it looks totally like it makes sense. Look at that. One hour up here. Are you kidding me? And it's got a tail end on it. That's the tail risk entry. 
See these two guys up here? That's where the news comes out and they just punish that thing to the north. See how they're killing me now? I let it go. If it comes back to break even or a little bit of profit, I'll just get out. I don't want to close all up in the pennings. I just want to get out of this. Uh, but I'm playing the trap. Uh, it's going to go up now. You just see by the tick chart there. Were you trading one instrument like this and... That was the pullback. So here was the stop out on the tick chart. See that? They trapped these, uh, these bears. Now they're going to rip it up. It's all right. It's only fake money. It's another three bucks. Now come up into the cell bank and get some action up here. Thank God I'm still long on my real money account. Okay, so now put cell, cell limits above and try to catch the drama on the north side. This might be a winner after all. Give it a little bit of time. <clears throat> Being impatient is definitely not easy. I'm only losing a dollar fifty now, so about ready to, to bail on that. Take a small loss. Okay, one more one more tick down. And boom, eighty cent loss. Okay. Now I can just stop trading. I'm up four hundred thirteen today. Thank you very much. So look at my hit rate here. I don't know if I can do a... Uh, I'll do my biggest loss. 32... Uh, 23 bucks. And I can see that that was the two-hour script that I dropped earlier today. This was that big psycho plunge. Um, it was these wicks here on the four-hour... So that definitely blew out one of those, but these were all on the same ticket, and I made it, uh, and I think maybe blew out that whole bank, see? It just creamed that, but I dropped multiple banks like that. And maybe that one just happened to time it out just right at a 45 degree angle rate of change. And then, so I had, um, what is that, uh, like eight losers, and then we have, uh, this very first trade I did was I just got out break even and now we come into the winners um, a lot of these see they expired so look at all the look at all the drama I missed see? let's not forget about that that's money in the bank that's what Mark Douglas says that's money in the bank when you don't trade it's money in the bank look at all that money in the bank Okay, so here's the first break-even buy at the market. Look at that. I think I did dump out of that because I'm just like, nah, we're wrong. Now here's where the winners start. We start with a 30 cent winner. And this is why just taking a little bit out of the market makes you money. We had some psycho losers there. And it was not very many pips, 23 pips. It was, it was uh, those were 20 pip stops I was running. You don't need to run 80 pip stops like these Greystone, these, well, I've, I'm, I'm a, yeah. Why are you taking those hits, man? Yeah, you're a ninja trader, right? You can't trade algorithmically, you can't trade all these orders. I didn't hand place none, of these buy at the markets, I didn't pull the trigger on that. But I dumped, I dumped before the target, I think, on this because I knew that, you know, the ride's over. Or I'm just like, I don't mind making money. Maybe I didn't even know the ride's over. I'm just like, I'll take that. You got $2? Oh, I'll take that. The other ones that say um, 20, uh, buy 20, it, H2 means two hour buy limits. And some of these are from my old, uh, some have different names because I kept coming up with different names. So buy limit 30 minutes. This is a 30 minute ticket that this ticket only lasted 30 minutes, which means this trade strategy totally worked out. The market dropped. Um, I don't know how many pips deep this is. It doesn't say, but if you wanted to create that in the comment line, you could actually create how many pips deep that was. And you could start to get a gauge of 
what's a really it, it doesn't mean that that's always going to work but certainly a plunge like this made good money just not even and even this two hour order made money but this is based on the profitability not the time if I did comment wise it would be a different kind of scan looking for uh, to do the forensics on your account I gotta put some more sell limits up here 15 minutes but these are all sell highs sell limits high now scroll down and look at these winners coming in at 30 minute winners are doing good the two hour winners the two hour uh, things in the market's doing good um, uh, a bunch of small wins here is a a 30 minute buy limit that actually took the profit um, uh, you know what this took the profit the reason why this is this color which means that's that whole trade plan played out which I think these ones when I came back from where I was at and same with these buy at the markets it mean I it, it means I got out uh, manually or no I mean I hit a button to close all profits close all profitable trades so this having that color means that um, it was the actual profit that was written into that thing so and now I'm making seven bucks I'm making here this was actually taken out where it was supposed to take out so that was the plunge that was the big money-making plunge that I wasn't here for and because that is that color which means the s script had a uh, take profit and it was actually hit instead of me dumping and uh, the three hours and 30 now here's a prime ex proof in the pudding is right here that the biggest winners on here are orders that I placed and three hours later 30 pips deep which means that market definitely dropped and it's not exactly 30 pips because some of these it's in a 30 pip ish area it bounced to my target which was set to make 16 pips or something it looks like um, and uh, I don't know what the spread was when that, that whole thing happened. And <clears throat> there you go. There's living proof that this strategy works. And it works anywhere, anytime, any... When it fills, it fills. You don't backtest this shit. You trade it on a demo. Real money, and you go, oh, yeah. I guess I'm backtesting, but no, I'm trading real money with this shit. Right now, I got orders pending on a real account with real money in it. And I got this demo to prove, to prove this works. Now I'm going to put buy limits in. It's coming back. I should have held that short. You can never say that. There's so many fucking trades in here. And is this, look at how they trap these guys. I would have been up on that trade. I'm not good at selling. I'm just too optimistic. Um... And something just deleted, that's why this whole history just, uh... Look at this. My biggest winners down here. 28. Three hours, 30 pips deep. I did lay several layers of those. I kept hitting that button and laying over and over the same grid just like this. I think I gotta buy at the market here a little bit. I'll buy one at the market. Now here's where the discipline comes in. And see how that my shitty fill? I'm not buying the bid, I'm buying the ask. They're gonna pull it back. But I just bought one. My real money account, I'm gonna buy only on limits. I'm gonna buy again. I can get a better price, see? Just got a better price. That's how you scale into a, uh, a system. Let me go to what's going on now. And you want to have different losses. You don't want to make the same mistake over and over again on one ticket. And you can trade this in micros. And you're only down a few cents here. I don't understand this thing. Why are people saying, well, well, yeah, we split the position. This one kid who made, he took 200 and he made it an 800. When he's Stapleton Disciples, this kid. And he's like, well, I'm just trading one target now. I'm like, you're going the wrong way. You lazy son of a bitch. You're going the wrong, wrong, wrong way. 
You got these pajama boys out there wanting to make money now. It's just hilarious. Dude. E even the gamers. You can't get a gamer to do this? Oh, no. I had some gaming punk once. Well, this guy's like a rapper and stuff in town. He's like, that doesn't work. Like, you don't even... What? There's proof. I, you just totally see it works, right? And you expose yourself for 15 minutes. Write 15 minute scripts. Run them. Makes money. Is this market going up someday? But isn't it funny how it's going up and down and up and down more than it's going any fucking where? And who's making the money here? The people that are... That are, uh... This guy... Talking about the... High frequency traders. They're, they're just... They're just... No, it's you. You're the one that, that doesn't have a trade plan for what's going on. I do think it's going up now. But it still could come back to this. Did the sellers come in at resistance at the top? Yes. Should I have stayed in? Yes. Will the buyers come back at the scene of the crime here? I hope so. And, I, and I'm betting on yes. And I'll let the market prove me right. Alexander Elder said that. I say the same thing. Let the market prove you right. If you think so, put an order in. But don't put one order in. And don't keep increasing the size of that one order. I'm getting really good at this. I put... I, yeah. All the money that... They've already admitted. Gartley's lose money. Are they helping you lose? I did a gar I did a, a thing and people got pissed at me. Called it Gartley Patterns Helping You Lose. Yeah. Look, I'm losing, I'm buying. Look, I just got filled in a limit. What was the better trade? To buy that pullback going, I'm bullish. Or to put the limit in. Now, I have my real money account. I didn't do something stupid like that. I buy at the market right now, but I buy at the top of the hour. Right here. Here comes the robots. Buy. Right? Look at it. 10 seconds before the top of the hour. Bye. Right now. Because, look at, five minute chart, pull back. Yeah, now we go for the round. We gotta kick people out first. We gotta make the guy who b bought this breakout shit his pants. That's what we gotta do. We're market makers. We make markets. We're not retail traders. Who the fuck thinks they're... If you think you're real teal tra tra you're just like saying I'm a victim, I'm a loser. Well, 90% of real teal traders lose. You don't want to be one of those. Take our 12-week transformation course. What? If you dress up like a girl, you're trying to be a girl. <sighs> you don't have to do it. You don't have to do this dumb re retail... Who's, who hasn't got burned doing what you're supposed to do? Well, I heard you spoke. Yeah. How many times have you got your fingers cut off doing what you're supposed to do? In these markets. I still see people hanging their hand out the window. Like you see now that summertime, these real manly, manly men will um, hang their arm out the door like, yeah. I'm like, dude. Do you think that it's even possible, and only from trading that you think of possibilities and probabilities, that somebody might accidentally brush up against your car with something that might pinch your fingers off? Or some high-speed uh, alien ship flies by. I mean, really, do you want your hand? You've only got one hand on each side of your body. And you want to lose maybe your good one, the one that actually writes letters and your your dominant hand. Do you really want to do? Um, and you lose your ability to uh, even hold on to you know the steering wheel, whatever it is. No, who wants to take that risk? But I look at that risk. I think that's risky. I, when I'm in traffic and I see that, I'm like, and they think trading's risky. People ride motorcycles bareback. God's sakes, that looks risky to me. Okay, so I got filled on one limit and and four market orders so far. 
So you see the mistake at the top, buying here thinking, oh, it could go up, but that's all right, because I had to do that, because I was afraid that I was going to miss out. Then I had the uh, one I just bought on that clock order, and then I have the two limits, which are almost, or the one limit that's almost a winner. So who's who's winning the most? The market orders or the um, the the logical limit order? That limit order's got a tight stop. Just flashing. So the spread got wide there. That's why you see these uh, things. But should I buy in another uh, five minutes? If it's down, yes. You have to buy in the next three minutes because I bought, uh, the pullback was at the top of the outer so even though that's the five minute down bar, it's coming, that's the five minutes before the top of the hour. Now you might say, I should have bought more. It's all right, there'll be plenty of times to lose money later. So I'm up a dollar uh, for my last trade. Now I'm up a buck fifty. So I could get out of those. I could get out of the limit now. If I feel like there could be a potential pullback, and I'm like, you know what, I could may have made the same mistake I made earlier. But this pullback is a little bit weaker than the last pullback. You don't need a momentum gauge, I don't think, for that. And you can see clearly we're going up now. Um, see, I'm not long on my real money account. So I'm sidetracked with this one, but uh, it's all right. There's plenty of trades. It's only 10 o'clock at night. Um, see, now I could have got out on something there. So let me get out of, uh, as soon as it goes up to the yellow line, as soon as it goes up about uh, a few pips here, I will dump the market order and the winning limit order and I'll pad the account a little bit and I'm up a little bit on that other market order. I'll let the other two guys ride. And that way I can buy if it pulls back because it could pull back. I know it won't go in a straight line. I'm going to wait about uh, 15 seconds here and then I'm going to dump. I did videos like this all the time before. Sit here and trade live. And uh, this best way to learn is on the five minute chart. The only thing is on a, on a weekly chart, a daily chart, these things take months to play out. This same scenario. And some guy said in this one thing, uh, does that triangle work in all time frames? It does, but the spread's the problem. If you can see the spread on your screen, it matters. The spread matters. On a one minute and five minute chart. Not so much on a 15. It definitely matters on a 15 minute chart on the guppy. So a lot of the stuff is not, um, you know, you're not gonna be able to survive it. If you think you can go trade the guppy with five standard lots and scalp it, mm, I don't think so, right? As soon as you pull the trigger, you're down like... If you're down $350 just by pulling the trigger and it hasn't moved in your favor yet, it may be a little daunting task psychologically. If you, you normally make $300 uh, a week in your day job or even $1,000 a week in your day job and you're down $1,000 by pulling the buy button. Okay, so I'm getting out here. I'm gonna uh, hold on to my um, one position, my first mistake. Or oh, that's uh, Cheryl Crow, right? My favorite mistake. So, I'm up uh, a couple bucks here. Now I'll put in the aggressive buy limits, 15 pips deep, the 30, and uh, walk away. So I don't care. And then I think that's how you got to do it. I think you got to be a scalper. Sure, there's a, sure I could sure this thing could I could be I could be right as rain. It could keep going up. But look, I'm underwater here. If I really thought this was a good trade, why not wait another five minutes and buy another thing? 
You know it's going to take him forever to get to this round handle. Look at this. Look at this garbage. And when I started talking back here, I said, well, I'll give it 10 minutes. Yeah, 10, it, was, it was 15 minutes to here. This is the five-minute chart. Three bars is 15 minutes in a five-minute chart. Well, target's met. Would you sell up there? Could have sold. Could have held that scalp into the buy. I'm still in a little bit. Could I be in more? Yeah, but it's going to pull back. And if I wait another five minutes and it pulls back a little bit and I get a double bottom like this, then I've got a reason to pull the trigger in the next seven minutes. So the 15-minute traders come in. I'll ride the 15-minute traders ride. The 15-minute trend traders, you can see how they're making money. Um, we don't need to see level two, level three. It's all bullshit. We don't need to see the volume. We don't need that shit. We don't. I mean, people people in my club don't need that. People that want to make a lot of money in a logical manner, not a chemtrail manner, not a Gartley pattern. Yeah, those patterns exist, but you're a dreamer. You're dreaming of that. You're a lottery scratcher winner. Yeah, but that one thing... The, I mean, aren't, isn't anybody concerned about the psychology of people that when there's a big lottery jackpot, even people that don't buy lottery tickets are buying them? What? That's how I view most of technical analysis and most of what people try to put into what they think is going on here. Oh, yeah, but if you look at the why would you look at that? Well, I heard. But what the, how does that matter? If you're going to sit here for three hours and make $300 and then go take a big fucking power nap, that's your life. If you're going to place pending orders, and you have to place pending orders, unless you're going to go hog long right now, with a hundred pip, with a three hundred pip stop, and ride this up because we know the euro is going to go up about a thousand pips at some point here. And it could start that train right now. We're at the bottom of the big trough. In don't forget, this thing hasn't even begun to retrace. So we have plenty of pips ahead of us on the north side. Plenty of places have it pull back and get on the train. So man, the next two weeks, uh, we could go. There's plenty of counter trend trades in here. You could still be the counter trend trader even on this right now. And you're making fast money. Up and down. Here we go. So, you never want to kick yourself at this point and say, I should have held the whole position from down here. I guess. But, man, I can relax. I, I bank money. I could quit right here. I could get to I'd be $420 for the day right now. It's really good and it really could have done better so you can always do better is my point and uh, I'll wait till they hit the round here and I'll get out and they'll probably go screaming north once they pop through that round that's another high probability but I say fuck them I'm getting out here because um, yeah, they're going to pull back now we're all aware of the fact and that's resistance right still resistance up there isn't it? I mean, is it just me? All right. There you go. How to trade and how, how to uh, trade in one easy step. Sell high, buy low, buy low, sell high. And I have to fine tune these scripts here to, tr to trade closer. Uh, now I'm going to sell into this. I'll sell into the uh, strength of that and I will buy into the weakness. But I've already got. Um, so I'm going to buy low. I'm going to catch it on the rebound. I'm totally flat now. But I want the extreme entry, so I'm going to stack a bunch of stuff here. I'm going to go watch an old movie. So thanks for tuning in to the uh, how to make money without thinking about it. And, uh, you know, just you don't need all that stuff. 
you gotta get this is the simple it's this is the simple life and um it, there's there there's so many mess and this five minute charge is a gold mine if I put the 15 minute in the rear view mirror you're gonna see that this is the easiest stuff in the world you're counting it's like playing drums you got triplets right so you can see that the launching pad was here and we could have re-entered on the um, so in, re in re to recap this you know surely the guy that doesn't want to do all the trading that I just did is going to buy her hold he's going to possibly get out of half a position here and let the rust ride into here now we're going to come up to the settlements now and since it's a fake account, I'm going to heavily load into that. Now I'm going to have to go to the four hour and see where does that come. Well, it's this. it covers this wick area and beyond, beyond that wick. The sellers are going to come in beyond this wick and they're going to pull it back tonight. Duh. Look, they're already pulling it back right now. See why it got out? Okay, I rest my case. Thank you. Thank you very much.